I have two questions. One for Dr. Tompkins is, I understand you're a geneticist, correct? Yes. Okay, so my question, it, it seems to me that whether it's ape to Adam or any other transitional life form according to the evolutionary theory, it seems to me that you of all people should be able to answer the question about exactly how much, so let's say by percentage, and maybe not exactly, but broadly speaking, how much genetic change or mutation or adaptation or whatever the correct term is would have to happen for people, uh, for transitions to go from some other life form into a human, like ape or beyond? Just how much would have to happen and have to happen on so many different things? Well, it's a, it's a huge chasm. You know, it's, it's difficult to say because, I mean, a child can look at a chimpanzee and a human and see massive differences just by looking at the two. The skeletons are different. The, the brains are different. Behavior is different. You know, humans are able to compose symphonies and play basketball and tennis and <laughs> run marathons. And I mean, the, the differences are massive. And actually, an evolutionist wrote a book once called uh, what was it more than a more than a chimp or something like that it was about five years ago so he wrote a book more than a chimp just going not even talking about the dna but all these massive differences between humans and apes so I, that's hard to say but it's it's an unfathomable amount of, of change would that, you say it's statistically it's impossible right impossible okay exactly, and yeah. coming from a phd in genetics i i, I take more put more stock in that than yeah absolutely you know, somebody so, else. I just know that there's a massive difference in in the DNA as far as the differences between humans and chimps that that does not fit the evolutionary model. So the evolutionary model is based on known mutation rates in chimps that they studied in population of chimps, known mutation rates in humans that they studied in big you know families like big Amish families and stuff like that, and then the supposed divergence between humans and a, and, a, and a common ancestor with chimps they claim was three to six million years ago. Some think it was more, but in order to have that, you need basically close to a 99% similarity statistically for that theoretically to happen. And so the differences that we know now, which are at the very least 84%, I think it's probably more like 80%. So <laughs> you know, similarity between the two genomes. Um, it, it just blows the theoretical model, you know, of human evolution out the door. So, but just looking at these systems, you know, we're a system. Everything is, biology is moving into systems biology because our, bio, our bodies are systems of systems of subsystems. Everything's interconnected. You can't change one part of the system without you know, mess, messing the whole system up. So, so yeah, the, the, it's, it's unfathomable, the, the differences between the two. All right. I, I couldn't even put a number on it, really. Okay. But yeah, but well, it's, thank you. It's vast, right? Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that.